Hello, welcome to my channel. Today's topic is production of a recombinant insulin. The hormone insulin is produced by beta cells of islets of Langerhans of pancreas. The human insulin contains 51 amino acids arranged in two polypeptide chains. The chain A has 21 amino acids while B has 30 amino acids. Both are held together by disulfide bonds. Attempts to produce insulin by recombinant DNA technology were started in 1970s. The basic technique consisted of inserting human insulin gene and the promoter gene of lacoperon onto the plasmid of E. coli. By this method, human insulin was produced. Insulin was the first ever pharmaceutical product of RDNA technology administered to humans. In 1986, Eli Lilly company received approval to market human insulin under the trade name Humulin. Eli Lilly prepared two DNA sequences corresponding to A and B chains of human insulin and introduced them in plasmids of E. coli to produce insulin chains. Chains A and B were produced separately, extracted and combined by creating disulfide bonds to form human insulin. Insulin in human pancreas is synthesized as a prohormone containing the C-peptide which is removed in mature hormone. The insulin synthesized by recombinant DNA technology did not contain C-peptide. Steps in production of genetically engineered insulin First one, human insulin is extracted from pancreas cell and an insulin producing gene is isolated. Second one, a plasmid DNA is extracted from a bacterium and cut with the restriction enzyme forming plasmid vector. Third one, insert human insulin producing gene into the bacterial plasmid vector to form the recombinant DNA of human insulin producing gene. Fourth one, introduce this recombinant DNA into a bacterial cell to form the recombinant bacteria. Fifth one, the recombinant bacteria multiply in a fermentation tank and produce human insulin. Sixth one, insulin is extracted, purified and bottled. It is then ready to be injected into diabetic patients. Manufacturers add ingredients to the purified insulin that prolong their actions such as zinc oxide. Second generation recombinant insulin. Therapeutic insulin is a hexamer which dissociates slowly to the biologically active dimer or a monomer. Thus, higher amount of insulin in patient cause hyperinsulinemia. 
Attempts have been made in recent years to produce second generation insulin by site directed mutagenesis and protein engineering. These are termed as mutines. Insulin mutines have been constructed with an objective of faster dissociation of hexamers to biologically active forms. The lac operon system consists of inducer gene I, promoter gene P, operator gene O, and a structural gene Z for beta galactosidase. And these are used for the expression of both the genes, that is, gene for insulin A chain and in gene for insulin B chain. It is then transformed into E. coli cells. These E. coli cells cultured in a nutrient medium containing lactose, then isolate and purify A and B chain. The presence of lactose in the culture medium induces the synthesis of insulin A and B chains in separate cultures. These insulin A and B chains can be isolated, purified and joined together to give a full-pledged human insulin.